Hey guys, Mr. Sydney from the OIS Primary Tech Hub. I'm just going to quickly show you how to create a collection on Seesaw to keep all your activities and resources uh, ready for anything or you can use it as a flip classroom as well. So let's get started. Okay, so once you've logged in and gone to your class, you should see this little picture underneath the activities tab. That's going to take you to the activity library. Once it's loaded up, you should have access to the community, the school, and my library. Um, here you can look at lots of different content from lots of different creators and find that stuff that's going to be relevant for your class. Once you've found something, maybe you can use the search bar to find uh, a maths or literacy or whatever topic you're working on at the moment. In the maths, maybe we're doing something on fractions, so I'm going to find something that's relevant on fractions and then press that little love heart button which is liking the post. Once I've liked it, it goes to my activity library. So I can go to my activity library and I should be able to see it uh, as the most recent one that I've liked. I can assign that straight to the class, but if I scroll down, I can go down to my collections. I've already got a collection already for Flip Classroom, but at the bottom you can create your own just by typing in whatever name of your collection is going to be. So I'm going to type in Flip Classroom here and just the demo and go ahead and create that collection. There is another button at the bottom that says activities not in a collection. And these are all my activities that are not in a collection. If I click on that, I can then organize my activities to be in the collection I've just created or one um, that I another one that I need. Once I've organized all my activities into a collection, I can then view that collection. And here's my demo class. I can edit, change the title, add a description. And then I can assign that to whatever class I need to when I need to or more than one class. So I'm just going to assign that to that class. And then I can go ahead and see that activity assigned in my class. So go ahead and create your own collections through Seesaw, adding all your lessons and activities that you want all in one neatly organized collection so you can use whenever. Thank you.